But where does the planet's powerful magnetic force come from? That can be answered with one of the oldest and simplest of magnetometers, a compass. I've got a compass here. It's a pretty simple device to tell you which direction is north. It uses magnetic fields, so sometimes it doesn't always point that way. And I want to show you why it doesn't. We're here at a junkyard. And behind me is a huge electromagnet. And when we turn that thing on, what's going to happen? Let's take a look. Wow, compass turned toward the magnet. But when we turn that off, it's going to turn back and point to the north. And what that tells us is the compass doesn't point to the north. It points to the nearest, largest magnetic field. In fact, compasses don't really point to the North Pole. They point to a chunk of rock west of Ellesmere Island off Canada. This is the magnetic North Pole. But the North Pole is not a magnet itself. The magnetic field is actually generated by forces deep within the planet. Magnetic fields are generated by moving currents. And the Earth is one big moving current. The Earth spins, and the interior of the Earth is molten and liquid. It's kind of like this glass of wine. When I swirl it around, it has a nice organized motion, and it hugs the rim of the glass. That's kind of what happens inside the Earth's core. Molten iron in the core swirls around and generates the magnetic field. Our planet is actually a dynamo, a device that transfers mechanical energy to magnetic energy. Dynamos. There's one on the Earth, there's one on the sun, and there's one on my bike. As you see, as the wheel turns, it's turning the axle in this dynamo. There are magnets attached to the axles. The magnets are spinning around. There's a coil of wire wrapped around there, and that spinning magnet is inducing an electric field and current into this wire that runs up to this light. And as I spin the pedals, you can see it converts the kinetic energy to electrical energy to light energy. The key for a dynamo is motion. Moving fluid can create electromagnetic energy, just as much as a moving bike tire. In fact, fluid creates the most powerful magnetic force on the planet in the fluid dynamo called Earth's core. But there's a problem with this ancient dynamo. It can stop or change direction 